Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome back to the Long Beach State Dynasty here on NCAA 10. We are sitting here at 8 and 13, and we have about seven or eight games left on the schedule. And honestly, this is probably our toughest game on the entire schedule. We go up against Gonzaga, who has over 20 wins on the season, and they are looking to really make a move in the NCAA. And honestly, they were a 15 seed last year. I don't know how, but they were a 15 seed and they won the first round in the upset. Now they're looking to make a statement. Now, this season has been interesting. To start out this episode, we did lose to San Diego for the second time, I guess for the first time this year, but playing them the second time. And honestly, this team has been around what I thought they would be. I think that we are a decent team, not a great team right now. I think we need some interior presence for sure because when Baz Helcott went out, we just got absolutely dominated. So we definitely need to clean up on the inside. Now Gonzaga, a ton of guys here. You can already see they have four guys averaging double digits. So that just tells you what kind of team they have and how deep this roster is. So let's hop into this action. Our first televised game versus Gonzaga. And let's get underway here in the first half. Here's a pass inside and that is good. And they strike first Marshall Thousand on the jump shot there. Make it two nothing. Here's Storm getting the pick inside. A mid range shot, he misses that easy one. As Gonzaga goes the other way, pass inside once again to Thousand, and it's good. He's got four early points. So now here's ha Baz Helcott at the top. Look at him posting up, passing to Bamaye, gets his man off of the ground, but a man wide open in the corner. It's Contavian Morgan, and he misses one. And that one does uh, spark a little bit of a defensive possession there as we get the block that time by Del Matrice. Passing back over to Joyner, and finally we are on the board, and he hits a three. And now here we go. We can finally take a breath, play some good defense. Here's a pass inside, but that is good, and that is Isaiah Torres, the senior point guard. So 6-3 game, working it around. Joyner, another three. This one's good. He's got six early points off of two open threes. As now Gonzaga takes a two-point lead. Look at Baz Helcott posting up inside. And we're keeping this one close here in the first half, within the first five minutes. As now here's Gonzaga back on offense. Another shot. That's Thousand again. His sixth point so far. He's three or four from the field to start this game. So here's a little two-man game. Working inside. Bamaye. How about the big men getting involved? Baz Helcott and Bamaye early as they have two points apiece. And now it's a 10-up game. Working it around the perimeter. Contavian Morgan. He hits one. Contavian Morgan is very, very interesting. He is actually one of the best catch and shoot players we have on our team. Here he is in the corner once again, and another three. 17 14, his second three of the game. He's two for three from three point land. So now 16 to 17, another shot in the corner. This time it's Takahashi, and he knocks it in. You never see that. 20 to 16 here for Long Beach. It's an early lead at home. Working it inside. That is Isaiah Torres, and he gets his six point of the game third bucket and now that brings it back to a two-point game so now 18 to 20 now here is Joyner at the top trying to work around the defense a little bit I like what Joyner does run the second team the second unit as he does drive in and I don't know what happened there there's a breakdown in defense and now it is going to be a four-point lead look at that save and effort that time by our second unit here's Bamaye playing with the second unit running in transition it's an open dunk and it's an early six-point lead here for Long Beach. But now Gonzaga gets it to a 24-20 game, and that is an and one. And that is Jaron McCann. And he is a junior, six foot seven. He could very, very well be declare for the NBA. He is an NBA caliber player. So Gonzaga does eventually crawl back here, as now we have a one-point lead, 26-25, driving the lane and one. And that is a foul on Baz Helcott as Gonzaga comes all the way back and takes the lead. But now we start to get into a little bit of foul trouble. There's Jorge Takahashi 
as Hellcott also got the foul in the last possession as well. And they go to the free throw line, and let's see if we can keep them away from it because that's their game. They go inside out. They are known for having big men that can really get to the bucket and draw fouls. So let's see if our defense can hold up. Here's Contavian Morgan back to the action. He hits a three, his ninth point of the first half. So now 15 seconds left. Let's see if we can play some good defense. And another foul, and one, Marshall Thousand. And that's a sec the second foul by Takahashi, the third and one of the first half. Is now in 10 seconds left. Here we are driving the lane. Storm pit dishing it out to Contavian Morgan, who misses a little floater that time. Rebounded, pushed up the court. A fadeaway three, and it is off. So Gonzaga goes into halftime with the 33-29 lead. And Gonzaga, we kept up with him offensively. Now we just need to play some good defense without committing fouls. It's a four-point lead. So they did shoot 54% from the field in the first half. They did not make a three-pointer at all. And now we come into the second half. Here they are working the offense. And this is uh, open lane and one. It looks like maybe we reached in. What happened that time? Oh, it looks like it was just a bump. And they call the and one. Now it's 36 to 29 to start the second half. So here's Bamaye on the perimeter this time. Trying to work around this 2-3 zone they have instilled here. Storm to the corner. Contavian Morgan for the three. I said before he was one of the best catch and shoot players we have on our team. I think it's solidified with that one. And here is Storm once again. He's got Morgan in the corner. He's looking for him, but he works it back around to Bamaye, who's trying to work it around once again. Storm working it inside. Post up. He can't go anywhere. Works around to Contavia Morgan again, and it's good. A four point game here for Long Beach. And now it's 36 to 32. So now here we are working it inside. Gonzaga is, and they get another foul called. And that is Dalton Jett on the foul as Gonzaga eventually gets it back up to a seven-point lead here. 12 to go. Storm driving the lane, and it's a dunk. He's shown that he couldn't throw down those dunk dunks. He's only 5'10", but Gonzaga does continue to score. 42 to 35. Here is Morgan at the three-point line again, knocking it down. Back to a four-point game. So now here's Gonzaga working it inside, and they are just dominating on the inside that time. We have to get Hellcott a break and bring in our other guys, and when we do do that, they start to kill it on the inside. Here's Morgan, another three. It's 44 to 41 off of the three-point shot of Contavian Morgan, and now they're starting to double team and working it inside, but now Buster Howard gets ripped now as they work it up the floor. Here's Marshall Thousand in transition, and he does get it to go. A little hop step, creating the separation. It's now a seven-point lead here for Gonzaga. It's now 48 to 41. Here's Dalton Jett at the top this time, trying to create his own shot. He gets the pick from Takahashi. He just shoots from the top and it's good. Back to a four-point lead. Long Beach is not going away quietly in this one. So here's Storm. He gets a pick and gets to the bucket. It's now a two-point game. So now we switch to the 2-3 zone, working it inside in another bucket in the paint for Gonzaga. And it's now a three-point lead here, five and a half to go. Working it around this time in transition, it looked like. And that was a bad foul. I don't know why they called that foul. That seemed like that was all ball on that one. CS Bands gets called for that one. And now it's up to a five-point lead. Gonzaga working it inside. Offensive rebound and a tip in. And that is good. You can already see this is where Gonzaga is dominating us on the inside as they get rebounds and now a steal in transition. And that is an easy two points in a transition dunk for Gonzaga. And now they start to pull away here up by seven, two and a half to go. Working it inside this time. Fade away, jump shot. It's good. I mean, how do you stop that? They, they're getting everything to go. They got the offensive rebounds working, defensive rebounds working. And now another steal, this time on Storm, running in transition, throwing it down. And that one will probably be the nail in the coffin in this one. Gonzaga does come back after we came back. 
and they end up getting the victory, an eight-point victory for Gonzaga. Isaiah Torres had 15. How about Contavian Morgan, though? He hit seven threes in this game, 21 points, and we did not have enough. And Gonzaga gets the victory here in conference play. They remain undefeated in conference play, by the way, as they are looking to get nationally ranked. I'm not sure if it will happen because of the weak conference that we're in. But we do have some good teams. I got to be honest. Pepperdine's pretty good. But I guess we need more teams to be, you know, a lot stronger than what they are. Davian Morgan had 21, like I said. Joyner had 12. And I like this lineup of Morgan, Joyner, and Storm. They are very, very good together. I like the shooting that they provide. Joyner had 12. He ran with the second unit quite a bit this game because Dalton Jett only had three off the bench. That's actually pretty low for him. And Takahashi had four and six as well off the bench. Marshall Thousand and Isaiah Torres both had 15 for Gonzaga. And we end up with the loss, but a very good game put up by Long Beach. Jamie Donaldson, who you saw had that transition dunk at the end of the game, he played extremely well off the bench. Nine points, four rebounds, two assists, and had some pretty good defensive possessions. And we come away with the loss. So now we advance on into more conference play, this time playing uh, Loyola Marymount. And let's see if we can get the win here in a uh, ESPN game cast. And we are in a close one here into the second half. It looks like Loyola starts to pull away, though, and they go up big. I mean, really big. And that was like a two point game going into the second half. And they end up winning by like 30. And that was not a good win loss at all. And Carlton Bigby, who leads the conference in scoring, had 40 points in 22 rebounds just incredible next we go up against the santa clara broncos who have not won a game in conference play so this would be a terrible loss if we do, did lose this one and here we're in a close one 56 to 58 with four minutes to go i'm gonna hop into this one it would be embarrassing to be their only win in conference play so down by two here is santa clara with possession Dalton Jett leads us in scoring, and McKenzie leads them in scoring with 28. Is he working inside of Reggie McKenzie? And he hits the jump shot. That is good. That's his 30th point of the game. It's now a three-point lead here for Santa Clara. But a nice pick that time. Baz Helcott left wide open is Zane Storm. It's now 62 to 62, two minutes left. Rebound this time. Storm off of the miss, pushing it up the floor. He gets stopped at the top, but he dishes around to Spratly, who stops and shoots the three. It's good. It's now a three-point lead here for Long Beach, 65-62. A minute 15 left. Working it inside. McKenzie, jump shot again. He is their leading scorer for a reason. They definitely go to him in crunch time, and now it's a one-point lead. But now they have to foul down by one. The shot clock is off. And look at this. They can't catch up the storm. And we waste a lot of time on that one. And now it's down to 10 seconds. We rebound it once again. And here, here is Storm running around once again. Look at all this time running off the clock. That's a good six seconds. And they finally get to Storm. He goes to the free throw line with 3.4 remaining. And let's see if he can ice this game. The first shot is good with the one and one. 66-64. Storm on his second free throw. It's up, and it's good. It's now a three-point lead here, 3.4 to go. Let's play some good defense, not allow a game-tying three. They just throw it up at half court, and it rims. Oh, my goodness, that was close. It rims around and does bounce out. 67-64 ends up being the final. How about the game from Reggie McKenzie, though, for Santa Clara? They're such a bad team, but he is their one bright spot. He had 34 and 20. What a game from him. And Dalton Jett led us in scoring this game. He had 20 points after a three-point game uh, versus Gonzaga. And Bamaye went six for six of eight. He had six, I guess, points and eight rebounds, I should say. CS Vance had seven off the bench. Good to see him get going. And then, honestly, for uh, Santa Clara, I mean, Reggie McKenzie was the only bright spot. Lee also, also did have 12 points and 20 rebounds, so I guess he wasn't the only bright spot. But a good win nonetheless for Long Beach State. So let's just check out recruiting. 
How about our first couple commits here? Jared Dickerson commits to Long Beach. Now, I didn't even realize that he was a three-star prospect. I guess that's my fault, but it doesn't matter. I mean, we're just going to go after him anyway. We're going into season three anyway next year, so might as well just go after three stars now. It's the only one we'll go after this year. I did not realize that at the time. We're only supposed to be going after two stars here in season two. But we do get our first two commits, and that is a good sign here for the future of our program. We are missing four senior forwards going into next season, but all graduating. That is going to be interesting to see how we replace that. So going into this Portland game, you know, there are a lot of good players here. Uh, Rochford does lead them in scoring with 24 and a half per game and 7.7 .7 rebounds. They have a pretty good team. I don't I don't want to say they're, you know, the greatest team in the conference. It's obviously between Pepperdine and Gonzaga, but Portland's a very capable team. So the stars to watch in this one is Douglas Rochford. He is a really very good score, 24 and a half, seven rebounds, and he shoots about 45% from the field. So this is going to be an interesting game. So they start out with the lead here, seven nothing here in the first half. As here is Dalton Jet off the bench already. He gets going with the corner three, and he gets us on the board here for the first time this game. So here is Storm. He gets the pick, tries to create some space. Out to Jet, who drives in, and it's an and one. How about Dalton Jet getting going early? I think that was the issue in the loss versus Gonzaga. We just didn't get him going on the offensive end off the bench, and he's in already within the first couple minutes. Is now playing some good D on Portland this time. Missed shot, Spratly on the rebound, pushes it up. It's Jet once again, and it's good. The lefty is smooth. He's got nine points here in the first few minutes of the game. And now here is Joyner running the second unit a little bit as he passes it inside to Benmaia. He may have had a layup there, but back out to Kentavian Morgan. It's a three, and now it's a two-point lead here for Long Beach. So here is Joyner this time getting the pick, running to a spot, and hitting the three. It's a five-point early lead here for Long Beach. And now our offense is starting to get going early, working it inside. Hellcott, a little baby hook. And it's good, a 9-0 run here. After starting out pretty cold, we started out down 7-0, and now we're up by 7. Here is a little bit of transition offense. After the good defense, Joyner laying it up and in. Contact, and he gets it to go. No foul called. And Joyner and Jet look like they are leading us in offense this game. So here, four minutes left here in the first half. Trying to get around defender, pass out to Gintavian Morgan. I talked about... His catch and shoot ability, he is very, very good in that department. Six points early for this kid as Dalton Jett drives in. His 11th point. How about Jett, Morgan, and Joyner here in this game? They are doing the offensive load. As here is Spratly, he says, I want to get involved. He drives the lane. We are up by 16 in the first half. Now a 17-point lead into the second half. Storm handling the ball. He's looking for a pick, it looks like, but Maya gives it to him. Storm pulls up from the logo. It's good. It's now a 19-point lead here for Long Beach, and now three minutes to go. Portland trying to come back in this one, and that is an and one that time on Jay Smith, who is a true freshman for this Portland team. But here we are now, only a six-point game as they crawl all the way back. Portland now driving the lane. It's a four-point game now. Two and a half to go. Here is Joyner driving. He gets the layup, though, stretching it right back to six points. But now Jet working it inside, up by six. But Maye, a jump shot just outside the paint, and it looks like we may have this one in reach as we do allow Portland to come all the way back. But now we look to seal this game up. We put our best free throw shooter on the line, J.D. Joyner. He hits the first of two, and it seems like with 50 seconds left, this game is out of reach. Joyner hits the second, and now with the 10-point lead here, we do eventually dribble this ball out and win by 11. And we get a good couple of bounce-back wins after that Gonzaga loss. That was a very close loss that we had to Gonzaga, but... We'll be looking to play them once again in the conference tournament if we do face off against them in our the way the bracket shapes out. But this is a good win here versus Portland on the road. We were up big early, let them back in. But we ended up still holding on for the victory. Dalton Jett uh, also uh, 
not CS bands, but Joiner had a very good game. And I got to admit, I love the small ball lineup that we institute when we put Contavian Morgan, JD Joiner, Storm, and we also put uh, Dalton Jet out there as well. I mean, that is a very good lineup for us. And I think we can definitely spread out the floor. We'll probably use that in the tournament if we need points. That is our best scoring lineup. You know, I like Spratly in because he's very, a very, very good defender. And he can defend wings. So if we they have a wing that's really scoring the ball, he's definitely going to be out there quite a bit scoring the opposing team's best player. So now four games left. We are 10 and 15. And I, I have my eyes on the conference tournament at this point, to be honest. I think the top two seeds are locked up right now with Gonzaga and Pepperdine. But we do go up against Pepperdine, we, who we haven't played yet. So that's going to be a pretty good game. I'm excited to see that one. It'll be a, another Gonzaga-type matchup. One of the top teams in our conference. They are really, really way ahead of every other team. So hit subscribe, hit that like button, stay tuned. We'll end the regular season next episode. So let's get it. Let's go. I be trying to do me, but they be trying to copy, though. Only problem with that is they not me, though. People act cool, but really they be shifty, though. They say they got your back, but they ain't even behind me, though. I be low-key, but police be trying to find me.